Let's pack Sarah's sixth order. She purchased five each of avocado, pumpkin spice, soft blue, wisteria, and orange burst, plus eight harvest gold. I pull them off the shelf. Some are really high up, so I need to use a step ladder. I should also mention that I currently have over 80 colors in stock, so you can pick and choose however many or few that you need. While packing this order, I thought I would show you how the cards work. Plus, watch how you focus on a different part of the postcard depending on the color. I'm just using this postcard as an example, but you can fit anything 4x6 into the front, such as photographs, artwork, cross-stitching, embroidery, you name it, it fits. Wearing rubber fingertips, you slide and glide to the other side. I use rubber fingertips, or you can use latex gloves. It helps keep fingerprints off your image, plus helps you grip it. My favorite part is that the cards fit into a 5x7 picture frame. Every card comes with a mailing envelope and you only need one stamp unless you put something extra heavy inside. The cards get packaged in my recycled chipboard wrap that even has gift tags printed on the inside for you to repurpose. I then wrap with a piece of recycled tissue paper, then new and red newspaper I get from my local newspaper office. I scrunch each end of the newspaper to provide extra cushioning during shipping. Next, with my 100% cotton twine, I tie on this note about why I choose to use newspaper that's brand new and unread in my packaging and not plastics. And now this order is off to Sarah in New York. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.